Flimsy Lynch Tray here with you with a different uh, than normal match where we're actually in scenarios on Killer Will. And this video was sent in to me by a fellow clanmate, uh, being Curly, uh, and another clanmate, uh, Doom Beagle. So, this. <laughs> I don't even know where to start uh, with what you are going to witness. Uh, in this scenario, in this operation match, it's it's um, it's so baffling. Uh, I'm trying to decide what to title this video uh, as we start out here, and I don't know if to call it the Killer Whale Derp or how to derp in Killer Whale. Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> um, so this scenario uh, operation has been around for uh, quite some time, um, and giving players. Well, at least players who have played the game for a while, uh, ample chance, ample opportunity to understand what the primary tasks are in this game, what the secondary tasks are in this game, uh, while new players may find themselves not fully understanding what's going on. And I do not know with the other players in this match uh, if it is a case of. Hmm, how do I put it? A case of, I, this is my first time I've ever played Operations. This is been a terrible day for me to play games, because I have those, uh, especially in World of Warships. Or new players, or just genuine derp. <laughs> so, on that note, uh, I'm going to be going back and forth between what we see on screen but actually primarily I'm going to be going off of uh, what we are seeing uh, on the minimap. Uh, so I'm going to be referencing uh, that a lot this match because the positioning in this battle is going to be mm, it's going to be the, the one of the stronger contributing factors to the the level of derp you will see in this game. Now if you were to ask me and based off how I see the players, uh, besides uh, my two clanmates, it seems like they've played operations before. Um, just with how they initially attacked um, the bases, but you know, even if they only played it one or two times, you still maybe not have a full handle of what's happening here in Killer Well. So, so if we look here. Um, we can see that the Ranger player is still all the way back in B1. So that's going to be a contributing factor. <laughs> um, and we can see that we have the Graf Street to the south, the Fuso, uh, we have the Shinomi, the Mexico, uh, Curly, San, and the Devonshire, uh, and the New Mexico and Mutsu up here to the northern entrance. Now, if you haven't played um, this operation before, I guess I'll tell you a little bit more in detail about it. Um, essentially, your primary task is to destroy all the enemy ships at the base. Your secondary task is to destroy the enemy forts, uh, the onshore facilities, which we've seen the forts, but we haven't seen any of the onshore facilities yet. Um, destroy all the enemy support ships. Uh, there's also going to be some certain enemy battleships that you will be required to destroy. And when the reinforcements uh, begin to, enemy reinforcements begin to arrive, uh, you need to keep them out of the bay. Uh, which, if you look at the mini map, basically means uh, you don't need to let them enter the bay or harbor through here. And also, it's somewhere in this line uh, you don't want them to cross because you're going to have enemy re reinforcements coming from the north. And coming from this direction, from here, from here, and here, um, in like five different ways, uh, depending on how uh, fast uh, you get to the exit point. Um, so one of the biggest um, factors I see with this match is that some players always assume that the exit point after you've completed the missions, the primary task, the secondary task, um, is that it's always up here to the north um, at A8. Uh, but sometimes it pops up here down to is it F1, I believe it is, right in here, uh, where the exit point drops in. So you can have players that all begin to work on moving north, you know, some move and then they go this way, um, and then 
it's too late for them being at tier 6 to be able to get back down here in time um, you just kind of see confusion so when I play this um, map when they announce when the exit point is I try to um, draw attention light up the square uh, of where it is going to be uh, so as we see here we see that the the Grash Bay and the Fuso have both not entered the south port entrance which is a touchy situation because you have to deal with the enemy destroyer that can torp you relatively easy um, and then you have the the Nassau and then we have the Kohlberg here that Curly Son is firing at um, so like you don't want to enter the south entrance right at first uh, you kind of want to sit in that outside the mouth of the bay and fire in uh, but the Fuso has put himself in a bad position um, and the Grash Bay is taking himself completely out of the action um, by sailing to the south entrance and now turning around, sailing all the way back up uh, to the mid entrance um, and then coming down and in. And the Ranger player is still making his way somewhat in. Typically what you see of CV players is that they're going to be hanging much tighter uh, with the rest of the team. That's at least what I try to do. Sometimes I forget, you know, when I, I start off all the way back here, I'll uh, use autopilot to get me to here with the rest of the team. Um, and then I'll reset it again to bring me into the port. Because usually when you're in CV, you want to come in and you want to be somewhere within this area. Oh, once this threat of this enemy battleship has been eliminated. And I'm not sure if I've actually ever seen the Nassau get that far north from the bay because the enemy destroyer and that Nassau uh, spawn here down at this uh, port here uh, where you have to destroy two enemy installations. Alright, so the Ranger looks like he's barely creeping along. Uh, the New Mexico is on top of things he's right there getting ready to enter into the main part of the harbor where you have uh, the support ships um, that are going to be leaving um, it's kind of like Narai where you have to destroy support ships down which I think how that is on the map because on that on Narai you have the enemy CV and you destroy it but also the enemy transport or enemy support ships but here you can see that they are all beginning to leave port. But you have this Koenig battleship uh, that doesn't leave uh, the dock bay. Um, that's really easy, good damage to get with the carrier and dropping torpedoes, um, set a fire on him. Uh, then you have this uh, King Albert um, who comes out that you have to deal with as he kind of escorts uh, some of the support ships uh, that come out down here while the other support ships come up here. Now, we just see the announcement that enemy reinforcements are approaching, and I have to say, I'm, I'm not sure why enemy reinforcements are coming now. Usually, the enemy reinforcements come once you're like just wrapping up um, here in port, uh, but we see that's not the case uh, with the enemy support ships um, and you know the Koenig, the King Albert. Um, and the installations because they've made decent time coming into the harbor Enemy thus far because when I was watching this play I was like okay like kind of normal and then we got to this uh, point where I begin to see things are not so normal um, my theory is and if you guys have thoughts please comment and let me know is that this ranger player he was sitting out here outside the harbor and he has a if he doesn't have concealment expert his detectability range is pretty poor and you have these ships that spawn um, back here and it's likely they they spotted him and then that's why um, the enemy reinforcements has been triggered so there's going to be one significant problem uh, we're going to see here in the next few minutes uh, with the other players and how that is going to end up affecting the outcome <laughs> of this uh, battle. So 
begins taking out the support ships. King Albert is, is going to eat these torpedoes. Now, because they haven't, um, in, there we go. Yeah, so retreat to the designated area. At least half all ships must reach it, and it is that F1, uh, where they are to retreat to the designated area and not A8. Um, so now we have the problem. We have the Kohlberg coming down from the north, and we already have a destroyer coming in uh, here in the harbor entrance. Usually what happens is once most of the main uh, onshore installations have been destroyed uh, and the ships, is that most of the players are kind of, they're out here-ish. Um, and they're already getting into the mouth of these bays before you start seeing destroyers and enemy ships popping up this close. Um, usually you have a battleship or carrier, not bat battleship or cruiser, that's already up here and taking on the Coldberg already, but we see that's not the case. Uh, the Ranger is now finally just getting in. And the major problem um, that I was telling you about that we're seeing right now is the rest of the team's location uh, outside the Ranger, I'll say. The New Mexico has reached all the way uh, to the port. He's all the way back here. The Grash Bay is all the way back here. Uh, the Fuso is here, when, but at this point he needs to be further up. Uh, and the Shinomi, the destroyer, is all the way back here. He's not even leading the way, helping to detect uh, ships in enough time. Now you may think I'm being harsh a little bit with what's going on here, but once you see this full battle, <laughs> you will see uh, the derpage uh, that I'm talking about here. So Curly is holding off these two destroyers uh, down here at this south entrance and getting rid of them. Uh, Doom is moving up in the Mutsu, uh, Mutsu to prevent uh, further ships coming in. So the problem here is that Doom and Curly are on their own. Um, with having to deal with these ships out here, which means that they're going to be focused fired much more easily, meaning that they're going to lose their health uh, much more quickly. Um, but this is the exit way. They, they don't have a choice. They, they need to get out here and take care of these ships. Um, they're doing what they are supposed to be doing. Uh, while you have the Shinomi, the Fuse, and Grash Bay, New Mexico farther back. Now you might be saying, well, they're tier 6. The team has, you know, you're playing tier 6 ships. They're slow. The New Mexico is slow. Okay, you might say that, but wait until you see what the New Mexico is not once, but twice, at least, that I uh, saw when I reviewed uh, this replay and watched to see what happened and taking some notes. So again, uh, as we engage in battle here, keep in mind with what's going on on the mini-map. So get rid of the Kohlberg. Um, Curly is down to one health left. Uh, Doom is sitting pretty good, just less than 4,000 health. We're now at almost 8,000. And the problem is, what's making this more difficult, is how early the first uh, enemy reinforcement group was triggered. And I think it was by that Ranger, I think. I could be wrong. As I look at the time, it is possible that it just took a little longer than I'm used to in getting into the harbor and taking out targets effectively. Um, but as they finish off one wave, the second wave is already incoming and the third wave is following that up. Um, so this is making life very difficult for them. And Doom's in a really bad uh, place right now um, because of the two cruisers and two battleships. Now, remember how I was talking about that New Mexico and going slow earlier? He sh if he was going full speed, he should have made much more distance than what he's made right now. The only th he needs to get his butt out to the harbor. I mean, the Grash Bay has relatively decent guns and torpedoes, as that's what the Grash Bay does to him. Um, he needs to get out and help. 
Now the V-170. The ship is on fire. And looks like Curly's gonna go down here. Yep. So there goes Curly. And we have five minutes left in the clock. Uh, the Fuso is heading north. The Ranger is heading deeper into the harbor. Not even getting, you know, getting closer to uh, the island here, uh, where he could be better helping the rest of the team uh, with getting the fighters and planes out to support the rest of the team more quickly. So I can't remember if it really moves the camera around much. Uh, I'm not able to take control of it. Um, so basically just watch the mini-map at this point uh, with what we see happening. So Curly's uh, exhorting the team that that big anchor in F1, that's, that's the exit people. And the New Mexico looks like he's coming to a stop. Oh, you see that? Look what the New Mexico is doing. Watch closely. You see that? He's not moving forward. He's moving backwards. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Reversing. And just over three and a half minutes left. So here comes the fourth enemy reinforcement team. Uh, Doom's not doing too hot, hot with his uh, remaining health pool. The Shinomi is finally out to support his team. The Grash Bay still hiding in Bay. And the New Mexico is still hiding. It looks like maybe he's done reversing now? Yeah, he's moving back forwards again. Um, and here comes the Ranger. And now the Ranger, he has no ships, no allied ships in front of him to support him. So we're going to see how that goes. Yeah. Yeah, so do, Curly's moving around, trying to see what's going on here. Um, somehow the Ranger took a big hit. The only thing I can think of it was the battleship coming uh, in from up north. Um, that must have blocked him on the side. Yeah, and there goes Doom. Fuso is getting uncomfortably close to the T-22 and Koenig. And just two and a half minutes left on the game. And no one is even close to the, the designated retreat area. <laughs> um, yeah, so for those of you who have played this scenario operations um, often, you're probably just wondering what happened and just scratching your heads in uh, bewilderment. That's because that's what I was. When I first started watching this play, I'm like, okay, normal, normal, but... By the time we get into the bay, uh, things start swiftly heading downhill. Now it looks like the New Mexico is slowing down again. And the ranger is beginning to take fire from the Colbert. No one's helping defend him. And here comes the fifth wave. <laughs> oh, wow. And Graf Spray, he can't sail straight because he needs to have all of his guns start at a target on each side. Ranger losing health rather quickly. The Shinomi, not even bothering with that exit point. He's just gonna he's just gonna farm damage in this match. And Ranger is about to go down. Oh, would you look at that? There's our New Mexico in reverse again. <laughs> oh my gosh. Nicholas R. Hall. That's not how you play operations. Okay, so 45 seconds left on the clock. Do you think they're going to five star it? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Oh, there he goes. He's, he found the uh, he found the W key. Wow, what a miracle! Miracles do exist. So I lost the ranger, and here comes the grass spray charging out now. The Shinonome just smokes up farming that Nuremberg. So yeah, so we're gonna leave off there. So if 
<laughs> if you enjoyed today's battle. <laughs> um, if you didn't like what you see, just give it a thumbs up. And uh, I hope you consider subscribing to see more. So, that's how to derp killer well. Take care.